We have two very special guests with us, uh, U.S. Attorney Selinger for the District of New Jersey and uh, First Assistant uh, Attorney General Lindsey Rotolo. So, welcome. Thank you. I request that everybody kindly stand up for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, to the republic for which it stands, one nation. One of them is in the history of whistleblowers and doing the right thing. Uh, we take for granted that you could do that. We take for granted that there's certain things that uh, are safety measures that we expect to take place, but break fast with you and to celebrate with uh, excellent food, good company, and good conversation. It's especially important at moments like this uh, to enjoy. To be here to celebrate and recognize the contributions of the many award winners, many of whom are uh, cherished friends and colleagues of ours, and we're just so thrilled to celebrate their incredible work here tonight. The importance of doing the right thing in law enforcement and denouncing all forms of discrimination. In our world, law enforcement officers hold a profound responsibility. They are entrusted with safeguarding our communities, upholding justice, and protecting the rights of every individual. His, uh, his plaque reads, Leadership Impact Award presented to Honorable Zahid and Krashi, Article 3 United States District Judge, former U.S. Magistrate Judge and Army Veteran, in grateful recognition of his community outreach and mentorship initiative. Judge. Um, that simply didn't exist while I was growing up here uh, in New Jersey. So when I look across this room and I see, you know, the men and women that are putting on a uniform every day. Just each um, unit. And uh, Ray Royster from the Attorney General's Office was our first director of community outreach. Ray, please stand up. Who did the hard work, the team, part of the team who worked very hard on the investigation and prosecution of this matter, and that is one team member from our office, Sergeant Daniel Schultz, and also Assistant Prosecutor Jamie Hutchinson. Who and we're calling to ask for my approval to put those charges on a warrant, which was actually kind of rare for a fourth degree if you've been a prosecutor or officer and you charge. But they explained to me the situation with Mr. Matthews, how they had been dealing with him for quite some time. Experiencing gaining their trust was the number one most important thing that I could start with, and realizing that what was just a normal job maybe that I ran to as a municipal cop for 15 years before that. Yo, is the Barry Graves of bias crime awareness. And the cops here that knew Barry Graves also know that you cannot give a better compliment to a fellow cop than to. about the dinner that's coming up later, since you were all fasting. Um, but I would like to say this. I'd like to congratulate my fellow award recipients. I'm honored and uh, to be amongst. Along with the Grand Lodge, the National Lodge of Diversity, and I, and I just want to say, four years ago when I met Camille, uh, we were just on the cusp of, of developing our diversity committee in our state. And the first person that came to my mind to put on that committee, and I told our president, Bob Fox, is Camille Warwick. Good. This award belongs to you, Camille. Like, from the time he started, um, Malia, him and his team, and I remember he first told me about it, and you spoke with so much passion and so much enthusiasm, but the most important thing was to make sure... I'm extremely proud to be honored at an event which includes one of my personal heroes, Josh Paul, along with so many who have dedicated their lives and careers to justice. Martin Luther King Jr. in his letter from Birmingham Jail wrote, Injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. By parents who both spent time living in the, in the Middle East, my late mother in Morocco, my father in Jordan and Yemen, uh, was raised in a, in a home with food and, and culture. So it's wonderful to be among friends tonight. Jeremiah Johnson, Acting Deputy Commissioner, NYC DOC, 
in grateful recognition of his courageous support for whistleblower police officers. The two things we've heard this evening, I think, are speaking out for what is right and inclusivity and inclusion. Uh, and I, I'd like to try and make a stab at pulling those together. Before I do, uh, you know, I recognize I'm sort of the odd one out here. I'm not a law enforcement officer. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah. Obviously, you go to it reads, in recognition for your invaluable leadership, exceptional dedication, and unwavering support and guidance, dedication dedicated to Malia, your vision and hard work created a path forward for us all. You made a difference. Thank you. And this goes to Malia President, Asbury Park Lieutenant, soon to be Captain, yeah. Camille Law. Yeah. And if we could just have all Malia members here again to take a huge photo, please, with... Come in.